And welcome back to Primetime News. And a special welcome once again to our viewers on OneSpotMedia.com and on TVJ International in the Cayman Islands. Up first this evening, a senior member of the Jamaica Constabulary Force has described as a crisis the number of children under 18 involved in criminal activities. A deputy commissioner of police, Fitz Bailey, is appealing for something to be done before the situation worsens. Anthony Lugg reports. Our attitude towards self determines life attitude towards us. Deputy Commissioner of Police in Charge of Crime Fitz Bailey at the Magatti High School in St. Elizabeth on Thursday. DCP Bailey was in a preaching mode as he addressed the graduates raising an alarm about the number of school-aged children involved in crime between 2019 and 2024. 3,621 of your brothers and your sisters, your cousins, your neighbor were killed by young people between 18 and under. That's a crisis in a population of just about 3 million. Other areas of concern are shootings, robberies, rape, break-ins, and assault. If the data is anything to go by, it could spell trouble for the country. DCP Bailey labeled the situation as a crisis. And so it is important for us to understand that there's an urgent need for change, urgent need for empowerment, and for a renewed sense of purpose among the young people. In recent times, stakeholders from several private sector groups have called for more social programs to be rolled out to tackle the issue. While not addressing those calls specifically, DCP Bailey noted that the matter requires all hands on deck. It only takes a spark to get the fire going. It starts with making conscious choices that leads to positive outcomes. It involves surrounding yourself with people who uplift and inspire you and seeking out opportunity for growth and development. You have been exposed to education and education is a powerful tool in this regard. Anthony Log, TVJ News. So just